This guide explains how to drift launch a kite. This is only suitable for experienced kiters. The advantage of a drift launch compared to other self launches is that you can move into the water away from hazards and you can avoid scratching your kite on the ground. The disadvantage is that it's fairly easy to create tangles that could steer or loop your kite. This video explains how to manage your lines and prepare for any tangles. First we explain the most basic drift launch and then look at a version using wrapped up lines. Set up as normal with your lines downwind of the kite. Next, clear yourself a path to the water for your lines. Remove any objects from this area that could hook on your lines. Return to your bar and double check your lines are in order. Attach your leash and chicken loop for now. Attaching will reduce the chance of a tangle, which could easily be caused by flipping the bar or dropping a line behind the bar. Walk upwind to your kite along the sides of your lines, not over them. When you reach the kite, you should see four lines from the bar and four lines from the kite on your downwind side unobstructed. This is how the line should be before picking up the kite and it's how we want the lines before releasing the kite. Flip your kite without touching the lines from your bar. Keep your bar and line start under the kite. With your bar and lines under the kite, there's less chance of them knotting with the bridles or the connection points that are inside the arc of the kite. Now you can walk into the water. Walk until you are clear from the shore and any tangling hazards. It's very important that you end by walking upwind. This will keep your lines neatly on your downwind side. Flip the kite over to your side and not on top of your bar and lines. Place some water on the near side of the middle strut. This will slow the kite's drift. The stronger the wind, the more water you need to use. Also, placing water on the near side will help turn the kite to face you. Double check that the bar and line starts are not caught on the kite. When ready, release the kite and move crosswind to straighten your lines. As you move, unhook your chicken loop and hold it in your hand. While walking crosswind, be very careful to make sure your lines stay on your downwind side. Any lines upwind of you could become knotted around your body. Proceed away from the kite until your lines are straight. Then do a kite and line inspection before hooking on. If you look closely here, there is a small indent in the trailing edge. This is because a bridle has become hooked on the right strut. This would start steering the kite but the kiter sees it and shakes the center lines so that the bridle drops free. The kite now forms correctly. Unspin the bar and make sure to inspect the lines. Only when everything looks as normal do you hook on the chicken loop. But even with that inspection, you should still launch using one hand to steer and one to hold the chicken loop eject. If there's a bit more seaweed around or other obstacles, then you can also wrap up your lines before walking in the water. Make sure the kite is secured very firmly and check your lines are in order. Hook on the safety leash. This will stop the bar flipping and prevent your lines from wrapping around the back of the bar. Wrap up all four lines. Secure the four lines with bungees. Walk to the side of the kite and place the bar down. Flip the kite over 
and try to avoid touching the bar and lines. Hook on your chicken loop. This will give you a free hand and reduce the chance of line tangles. You can now move into the water. When clear of obstacles, start unwinding the lines. When the lines are unwound, check the launch area. Move away from any tangling hazards. And always remember to move upwind before flipping your kite. Moving upwind keeps your lines neatly on your downwind side and not under the kite. Flip the kite to your side, not over the bar and lines. Way down the near side of the kite, Check the bar and lines are clear. Release the kite and move crosswind. Hold the chicken loop in your hand. When the lines are straight, do a full inspection. Hook up and launch with one hand to steer and one hand on the chicken loop eject. During a drift launch, a line tangle can occur easily. For example, seaweed can pull on lines or bridles can hook on the kite. Any tangle could easily steer your kite for you. Expert kiters will easily notice this with plenty of time. They will be able to use their safety or they can even store the kite long enough to fix the tangle. However, an intermediate kiter will be slower to react. That's why it's a good idea to hold the chicken loop as you straighten the lines as we have shown here. If the kite pulls and you drop the chicken loop, then the kite should automatically flag out on a single line, while you get ready to use your leash eject in case you need it. Also, bear in mind that things go wrong rapidly in strong wind, giving less time to react. Therefore, it's sensible to master your drift launches in very light wind. I hope this helps with your drift launches and thanks for watching.